We're now looking at the back of the Fleck SXT control valve. Uh, I want to show you a couple of things. First of all, uh, this gray wire uh, connects to the turbine at the back. Uh, very common error uh, that happens with the installation of these systems is this cable gets pulled out uh, and the water softener control valve is never able to properly measure the water flow through the system which causes all sorts of issues. So there's a little hole back here. There's only one way it can go in. Make sure it goes all the way in with an audible click and you know that you've got that seated properly and it's going to work well. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to attach the bypass valve to the rear of the control valve. You'll see these little red clips which uh, are used on the Fleck 7000 X SXT to hold everything in place. These simply pull out with a pair of pliers. We then take our bypass valve, there it is right there, and uh, it's all o-ring sealed so we simply line this up push it in, uh, and then we use the red clips to lock it into place. It's as simple as that. Now coming out of the rear of the bypass valve, we've got uh, two openings. Now in this case I've got one of the plumbing connectors already inserted, uh, but every water softener comes with a pair of these, either in three quarter inch, uh, one inch, or inch and a quarter. And these are your plumbing connectors. These are the threads that you're going to attach your native plumbing material to. And again, just like this side of the bypass, these are O-ring sealed. They push in and they're held in place with these red plastic clips. If you're threading onto these, a little Teflon tape is a good idea. Uh, and that's about it. Uh, pretty simple, pretty straightforward. Uh, on the side of the bypass valve, we've got the actual bypass mechanism. Uh, there's little holes for a screwdriver and you can push and twist in and out of bypass mode. Uh, each of these ports is um, controlled separately by one of these little dials. So you've got one here and then you've got one on the back side here that you need to open and close to put the unit in and out of bypass.